From the Digital Center at Hawaii News, now we get to talk story with Dr. Kamuola Kimokeo and the one and only Lena Girl. Yay! Hey, hey, hey. Good Aloha. morning. Nice to have you guys here. There is an event that is coming up pretty soon. Let's get the who, what, where, why, when. I'm going to start Dr. Kimokeo. Kamuola, I'll start with you. Um, when is April 1st, Saturday, April 1st. We are having actually a full day of music at Windward Community College. Uh, the beginning of the day starts at 10 a.m., the workshops, and we have workshops from 10 to 5, free workshops that are open to the community, anyone who wants to learn music, featuring uh, teachers like Benny Chong, Frank Hewitt, uh, Jerry Santos, John Osorio, and Lico Martin are doing a workshop on the music of the Hawaiian Renaissance. Nice. Kelly Cruz from Mana Maoli, Kalena Kudilima. Really, it's an all-star lineup of teachers. But after the free workshops, we're actually doing a concert that evening from 6 to about 8.30 called Mele Ho'oma Lama Lama. And it's a concert celebrating the music of the Hawaiian Renaissance featuring Jerry Santos, John Osorio, Lico Martin, Frank Hewitt, and Ledward Ka'apana. That's some huge names right there. All cool. on one stage, brother. Wow. All on one stage. Reliving it's the amazing. Renaissance. Yes, yes. And now, okay, so how does Kanilea Ukulele tie into this? Well, we are so grateful to be the beneficiaries of this incredible concert event. Um, all of the proceeds that go f towards ticket sales are going to help to fund the Kanilea Ukulele Hawaiian Music Scholarship. Uh, we started this scholarship back in 2019. I, for anyone who is familiar with Kanilea Ukulele, we've been building ukulele um, for the last 25 years in Kaneohe. Nice. Um, and Native Hawaiian owned business. And we, in 2014, began the process of reforestation because we thought, okay, it's wonderful to build ukuleles now, but what about our next generation? What happens to our, our keiki and our mo'opuna and all of those that still want to continue to play ukulele? Where are they going to get? these beautiful woods and these you know and so we kind of delved into reforestation and it became this incredible opportunity to give back to the next generation well our reforestation efforts are are moving we have filled up nani ekolu we are into a new parcel continuing to uh, plant not just koa trees but an entire biodiverse native hawaiian forest is that here on oahu or is that hawaii island that's on hawaii island in keala kikua area right at that right at that cusp of south kona um, and it's a mile up on mauna loa it's beautiful it's right in the koa belt and um and we are planting for the purpose of generations to be able to enjoy our native hawaiian forest then we thought to ourselves wait a minute we also got to take care of our generations of Hawaii music makers, right? right? How do we do that? And so we were able to partner with Dr. Kimokeo and Windward Community College, him being the head of our music department at Windward Community College. And when, when he sat down with Joe and Kristen um, Souza, the founders of Kanilea Ukulele, um, they came up with this beautiful opportunity to create the Kanilea Ukulele Hawaiian Music Scholarship, which supports those who are in the academic arena, right? Going for their college degrees, but have a love for Hawaiian music. And that's what it's all about. Wow, that's Exciting. incredible, because that, that takes it from so many different sides. Yep. Uh, the Aina, where you get your instrument from, the future. Literally from seed all the way through generations coming up, you know, the future generations. How do we support them and this is it seems like the, the perfect partnership brother it really it really has been you know because at winwood community college at our college uh, we really are our goal is to help to not so we reforest hawaii through plants and now we ho'ulu lahui you know we grow our native and cultural knowledge base uh, through education and we make sure that our things that make us uh who we are as hawaiian people is uh, sustainable and, mm -hmm. and it stays around. So we use our program to teach Hawaiian music. Some of our teachers in our program, like Ooh. at our college, Unreal. you know, we have uh, Kawai Kapu Hewitt, Raiatea Helm, Kapena de Lima, wow. Jeff Peterson. <laughs> uh, so it really is uh, the best all of, the of best. our artists that, are, that teach at Windward are like award-winning Artists. Well, yes. not not only award winning, but I mean, we're talking about well rounded, right? Well -rounded. As far as taking care of the future, we're talking about well rounded as far as these artists are concerned, because that's like hula, language, contemporary, traditional. Exactly. That's and you crazy. Know, not to take away from anybody else that has won awards, but the, you can you can be an incredible performer, 
But that doesn't exactly mean that you can translate yourself into an incredible instructor. Mm. So how blessed we are to have these particular individuals that teach within this program. And Winward Community College makes this program available online to the world. It's That's not right. just within Hawaii. It's to the world. It's completely online. So yes. it is able to, if you're, I have a number of students all around the continental United States learning Hawaiian music in the diaspora of Hawaiians who have spread all around the world. I have students in Virginia, New Jersey, California, all over who are in our online Hawaiian music program who want to connect to home. And the scholarships are what supports them. You know, giving these opportunities makes this music accessible, uh, makes this educational experience accessible to them. Uh, so the scholarship is really critical for us to be able to give these opportunities to uh, people who are interested in Hawaiian music. And the one thing that I really love about these programs, so Kanikuola is that workshop portion of the program. It's absolutely free. For those who are attending in person, if you register, if you're the first, I think 180, 180 yep. to register, we're gonna take care of your lunch so that you can continue, Just you just learn, 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 eat, learn, 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 and then come. <laughs> and then the concert itself, which is Mele Ho'omalama Lama, um, all of this is available in person and also online. We're gonna uh, be live streaming the concert. We're gonna be live streaming the workshops. So again, for those people who are out there, our native Hawaiian people who, for whatever reason, had to move from Hawaii and are trying to feel connected, mm -hmm. this is how you do it. Do it through these programs and do it through this event on April 1st. Join us. Wow, okay. So we've done gone over both uh, areas. Uh, have we broken down the day enough? I mean, about what you're doing in these workshops, what people can expect to learn? Oh, I, I would love to help break it down. So um, in the early morning, our, about, 10 to 12, uh, about 10 to 12, we have Kawai Kapu Okalani Hewitt. He's mm. teaching a workshop on Hawaiian composition and the mind of a Hawaiian composer. Wow. At the same time, Benny Chong and Dr. Byron Yasue will be teaching ukulele theory and arranging. Uh, the next, uh, uh, in that same time, Kawai Kapu in the middle is going to change into teaching a workshop on the relationship between now compositions and mele to hula and choosing motions. Movement. So uh, that's the next workshop. We have uh, historical workshops. We have one workshop by Dr. John Magnuson, Kapena Shim, and Myrna Kamai, Uncle Eddie's wife. Wow. And they're going to be speaking about all the work they did transcribing the Eddie Kamai songbook. That was crazy. We had Auntie Myrna in here, and, and just the amount of work that they've done. It's incredible. And, and that they've been able to, um, you know, archive for future generations. Yeah. So it's, we don't lose that. It's unbelievable. And by that same token, we have a workshop by Kelly Cruz uh, from Mauna, Mauna Mauli. Mauli. Mm -hmm. And she is actually, her workshop is using recording to tell Native stories for that same reason of the songbook, it's you know about preserving our stories now as well and making sure that our future generations don't have to work that hard to remember our stories because we will have taken care of, of writing them down. Kylin Reese is doing a workshop uh, called From Hula to Hendrix, talking about Hawaiian music's uh, influence on world music. Uh, how there was these two brothers from Maui that Invent, helped to invent the Fender guitar and a Mekia Kealakai who helped to innovate the, the dreadnought. Martin Dreadnought. Mm -hmm. So really, Hawaiian music's impact on world music. So it's going to be a really wonderful day to learn not only history, but some actual music stuff. Dr. Aaron Salah oh, is teaching, one. He's yeah, yeah. teaching uh, how to play comping Hawaiian music on the piano. There's no classes on that. <laughs> There's, yeah. So the that's only the way guy. you would have, be able to do that is to sit with your kupuna. Yes, and, right. You're right. Right. You're right. That's so the that'll only be way. The, and so Aaron is kind of kupuna. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Sorry, sorry, Aaron. <laughs> love you, brother. He's, he's <laughs> gonna be hurt by that. We, we, we say that with love. To me, he's yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Anyways, I love him. But and, well, actually, speaking of kupuna, there's actually gonna be a, a jam session, right, with some of yeah. our artists. And you can take part in that jam session as part of the workshops again, which is free. Free. We well, love that wait, word. Wait, wait. You know, jam session. I guess you could, yeah, if you have your instrument and you're far away. Bring your spoons. And yeah. or you bring bring your ukulele. Bring your your yeah. Bring them. Yeah. So the music workshops, please bring your instruments. 
for the ukulele workshop don't come without an ukulele come <laughs> yeah. and be ready to experiment and try and yes. play and uh, for any of the music workshops be ready for that okay uh if somebody is listening to this and they want more information on this where do they get that i think probably the one-stop shop would be windward.hawaii.edu forward slash kani dash kuola it's a lot if you go to windward.hawaii.edu it's You'll on the main it. page Pop but up. you can get information about the workshops as well as that evening's concert in that in that space okay and if somebody wants more information on the scholarships where do they get that oh they can actually get that at the exact same spot or also at our kanileo website kanileoukulele.com um but just super excited to have these incredible greats i love that this is kamuela's you know brainchild of grabbing all of these incredible men that were a part of and if you think about it brother i know 1970s this is that second hawaiian renaissance it was about our kanaka maoli identity just um learning more about our culture our music hula the arts um and these men were so pivotal in creating the soundtrack of that time period you know, they gave us an opportunity through their lyrics and through their live performances to step out and say, proudly, I'm Native Hawaiian, and to take part in the conversations that were happening about us, you know, um, in, in the political realm or in the educational realm. And so I really have a huge, just a lot of love in my wife for these, these men. And to know that they're all going to be on stage together with us, again, funding the education of our upcoming, you know, upcoming singers and players and music makers it's amazing this is a, definitely an event you cannot miss okay so once again april 1st april 1st from 10 to 8 30 p.m there's something going <laughs> let's on let's go run them high windward community college <laughs> and do you once again do you have to register for all of this there will be in-person registration however the space is limited so if you go to the website uh windward.hawaii.edu and find our page the registration is right there and you can ensure a space. Okay. Dr. Kamuela Kimokeo, uh, Lena Girl with us from Kanilea Ukulele, Windward Community College. And we'll also put this uh, more details on our website at hawaiinewsnow.com.